Okay, it is finally time for Little Miss Emma and Bella's cage tours. I'm sorry, this is kind of late. We've been really busy lately. We haven't been able to slow down and come do their cage tours. On top of the fact that these probably are not my favorite theme, so maybe I like, kind of sort of been putting it off because I wasn't that happy with them. But, yeah, just kind of having to make all the frozen stuff last for four cages was really kind of hard, so I felt like, you know, Little Miss Elsa especially is lacking and stuff. But anyways, here are their cage tours. And I just had the lights off and their little white lights on here. And I'm going to turn the light on and show you hers because she's got a cute little frozen thing up here. So here on top of Little Miss Elsa's cage is appropriately so a little Elsa poster with a snowflake. There's actually two snowflakes but one fell behind the dresser so that's like gone. <laughs> Anyways yeah here's a little poster. I got this from work when I worked at a Halloween store. So there's that and her little snowflake which if you guys can tell kind of changes colors and the lights which is pretty awesome. It looks very pretty. So that's just on top of her cage. And so let's start here with Little Miss Anna's. Okay, so here is Little Miss Anna's cage. And as you can see, Little Miss Anna is playing in her sand, just frolicking around. But anyways, her theme was kind of more on the purple side. I just thought because the background was purple that the stuff that would go with it would just be perfectly matched if it was purple. So yeah, and she's in a 20 gallon tank with KT white bedding. And then there's just some little clings on the front which the sun is kind of glaring on them, but they're just little snowflakes. There, there are those. All right, we'll start on this side. As you can see, here's her six and a half inch silent spinner in purple. Her food dish, where she is munching now. And as you can see, here's little Mr. Kristoff right here on the side visiting her. She likes to have her meals with him. So there's that. There's her purple little ball. Her little purple tube contraption. Her water bottle, which is from Walmart. Then her little sand dish, which has snowflakes on it like this one does. If <laughs> you guys can see it. But those are both from Michaels. And then her little purple igloo, where Anna likes to sleep at. And then her little purple hideout, which I'll show you guys on the inside. It's just that adorable little purple ceramic house. So yeah, there's not much to it. There it is. There's a little... Anna's cage. So we'll go show you Miss Elsa's cage now. You want to say bye? See yeah. you. Yeah, well, I guess I can't get you from that side. Hello. You're so adorable. I know those paws eating. They're so cute. So cute. Okay. Anyways. Okay, here's little Miss Ellis's cage as you see her running about making her ice castle. So hers as well as a 20 gallon tank with, she has aspen bedding in it. Uh, we already had to change her bedding and so we just went ahead and put aspen in it. So there that is. On the front she's got some snowflakes. Let's see if we can make it a little darker in here. <laughs> there we go. Okay, yeah, so she just has some snowflake clings along it. And then her background is a pretty turquoise. If you guys can see it, it's just a little pretty turquoise color with Anna, Elsa, and Olaf. And then she has this little contraption in the front. It's just this random kind of igloo contraption here, I guess, with some tubes. You guys are blinded by the sun. Um, yeah, then here is her little wheel. This is an Alice wheel, and this is the medium size. So as you can see, it is pretty as small. But it's a gorgeous color, and since she is so tiny, she kind of runs in here with no problem. So we thought it'd be cute to do for a month. You're making your little igloo, Elsa. You're so cute. <laughs> Anyways, okay. This is her little sand dish, and it just says, let it snow. And she's got her water in the back, the same as Emma's. And then here is her food dish, which is just a little blue dish. We kind of thought it was cute. It kind of looks like it has like a troll on it, even though it's really solly. Hi, you want to say hi? You kept looking at me. Okay. And this, if you guys can't tell, let me see if I get an angle on it here, is her massive nest she's been building, or her ice castle, as we call it. So you takes the tissues out and puts her stash and sit inside the mug. And she just has built this massive nest right there which she sleeps in, and so it's just really cute. But okay, I think that, that's pretty much it for Anna and Elsa's cages. 
probably nothing too exciting this month. And I probably should go ahead and note that um, this will probably be the last month for a while that I've been doing cages. I've kind of taken over doing my sister's cages since I don't know, sometime last year just to do fun themes like she wanted me to do Halloween and Christmas which was fine with me, which I think I was doing cages a few months before that anyways. But yeah, so it's probably going to be back on her now to do cages. So yeah, she's been enjoying the life of having hamsters and not having to do all the dirty work because I've been cleaning them and such. So she'll probably go back to doing cage tours. I don't know how often she'll have them. She'll probably have them at a few months at a time because her girls really do not get bored very easily. They kind of just want their wheel and they occasionally like a saucer, but they just kind of have their favorite house hideouts and they just kind of like to keep it that way. They don't really like the change all the time. They don't seem to care. <laughs> You're just so cute. You are. So yeah, so they'll probably have cage tours every few months or so and if you guys want to see them, I will continue to film them when she does them. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Warm hugs. Bye. Can I say bye, Miss Elena? Yeah. Bye. Hi, everyone. I'm Olaf, and I like warm hugs. <laughs>